Welcome back to Access 101. Today we're going to uh, do some queries that will employ functions, the month function and the year function, and the group by feature of Access that will help us to take, we're looking at a table called um, payroll practice. In here there are pay dates and amounts paid. Those are the two fields we're going to work with. And what we want to do is create a summary query that is going to give us payroll amounts by month. So let's just close out of here, go to Queries, New, Design View, OK. We want payroll practice, we add that, and close out of here we're going to take amount paid and drag it into the second field. Now in the first field we want to put an expression that is going to enable us to group the dates and that expression we have down here I've, I've copied this down already and we're going to this is the month and year that's the label followed by a colon labels are always separated by a colon and then we have the function called month that's going to separate out of the month from the pay date field. We're going to put a, spl spl a slash in there and then we have a function called year that's going to give us the year for the pay date. So what we're going to do is copy that. Control C, click in here, Control V, or you can use edit copy and edit paste. We're going to run that just to make sure it does something. It does something, but not exactly what we want yet. It gives us all the records. It gives us the month, year, and the amount paid. So the function is working. The month and year function are working just fine. Now we want to do some grouping. So we go back to the design view, and we want to go to view, totals. And you notice we now have a total row. And here we've already got group by, and that's what we want for this particular field. But over here in the amount paid, what we want instead of group by, if we click in here, we want sum. We want to sum that up. So we run the query, and this is much better, except I don't like the label. So we do have the month, year, and the amount paid for that month. But let's change that label we'll put in, we'll call it payroll, and as I mentioned a moment ago, the label is always separated by a colon. Let's run it again. That looks much better. Okay, let's go a little bit further. We'd also like to see how many checks were issued each month, and we could easily do that. Go back to design view, and in this next blank field, paste in that same expression, but this time we're going to modify it and change it. Instead of month date, we want it to say checks issued. And let's run that. And that didn't work, and the reason it didn't work, let's go back and change group by to count. We want to count. Okay, so now we run it again and we have the count of the checks issued. And there it's as simple as that. This is pretty powerful. I encourage you to watch the video again and try this out for yourself. Remember to pause the video, try it out, and resume the video. You can do this repeatedly. It's a great way to practice. Um, when you X out of here, we want to save the query, call it anything you like, and I'm going to call mine uh, Pay3. Okay, that's it for today, and uh, thanks for joining me again, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.